All right, so this is the next video telling you how to assemble your kite. <clears throat> the black lines that I painted earlier, transferring them from one side of the kite to the other, the black lines and the colors that I added using oil pastels more or less fit into the two wings of the kite. Remembering this middle section right here is gonna fold and come together to form the bridle. These two noses will then stick out towards me the way a nose does. You won't see the nose that much, except for maybe the side. Now, when you do have dry paint, uh, you're ready to add oil pastel coloration. I'd like to see you add similar colors, similar blends, similar value work on each side, just to see if you're able to reproduce it. Because the kite's gonna be flying at such a distance, your workmanship here close up doesn't have to be that good. From a distance, it will look great, however. So use your oil pastels that you have in the past. Now what I'm gonna do right now is fold the paper back in half. I can see my original pencil guidelines there, and I'm going to start to cut along those with my pair of scissors. And it might be that one or two of my details gets cut off, but that's fine slowly with the paper folded and the two sheets together cut along your straight edges here that's going to be one side of the kite okay get rid of that excess here And that's it, just those three cuts, okay? Later, we will use a single hole punch to punch that hole out, but not before we use um, a piece of poster board to reinforce this portion of the bridle. Now what I'm gonna do is fold along this line right here. And it's a little hard to see. It could be that I open this up this way and just fold from corner corner there. It might actually work best if I do it this way, fold it back this way so I can actually see the line. There we go. See the line I'm folding to, and then I will simply reverse that fold. Okay, a little messier because you get a little bit of the oil pastel in your hand, but I'm gonna reverse that fold. Reversing means just going back in the opposite way. Okay. Now, with one side folded, here's the bridle folded in the middle. Let's bring the other wing over. Just simply match the corner of this wing with the original corner of the other and fold. Not perfect, but close. Okay. So we have this staring at you, and you see how the eyes, the features, the nose, and the teeth have come together and the brow to form a face that is more menacing, okay? And there's that nice blending of color going on there right in the middle. Now the nose is there. I'm not sure that's working for you or me or not, but we tried it. If you don't wanna do the nose, you don't have to do the nose. So here's what I'm gonna do next. Let's go ahead and take this piece of poster board and glue it very, just a little bit of glue right here along that center edge. So not very much glue, just a single bead or line of glue. Very thin is fine, it doesn't have to be much. And then right here where the fold is, put that piece of poster board in there, okay? Right there along that fold, okay? That's very good. While this is closed like this, I'm gonna take this tape and seam it. I'm gonna bring some tape down the length of that. This is tape that tears easily with your hands. You don't have to have scissors. I've cut off a little too much, torn off a little too much. From end to end here, there is my tape, okay? We also have to seam right along here. Otherwise, this opens up with the wind and makes it difficult for the kite to fly, okay? So a little piece of tape there, gently wrap it over to seal up that edge. 
all right? Keep air from getting in there. Now, we have this hole right here. Now remember, there's a piece of poster board between the two pieces of paper. Take your one hole punch, punch out that hole. Okay, that's where the string will go later on. And your kite is almost done. We need on the back this brace. And the brace fits across the two corners here, left or right. I have a little extra tape here. Let's go ahead and put a little extra tape here to secure that, to pin it down. A little extra tape here on this side to secure it, pin it down. And then one longer piece of tape running the length of the metal dowel end to end Gently press it down and gently then push it against the paper like that. Any excess, you can just wrap around, okay? So <clears throat> the dowel is taped down. There's a tape down the back edge here, the back seam. There's tape here in the front on the bridle to keep the air from going into that area. We reinforced the bridle with a piece of poster board. We glued it in there with just a little bit of glue and then later we punched a hole and your kite is done. The only thing else we have to do, apart from adding string to it, is add tail using crepe paper streamers. And probably you will have six tails. You will have two on the right, taped to the back, two on the left, taped to the back, and two on either side of that middle seam right there. So two, four, six, in order to provide the drag that this dragon needs if it's going to fly. Okay, now you try.